You're listening to The John and Heidi Show. Now, featuring the wit and wisdom of Dan Ferris. Okay, dudes, let's walk this sucker. On Sunny 93.3. Sunny 93.3, thank you so much for listening to The John and Heidi Show on a Monday. Hello, Mr. Dan Ferris, how you doing? Mm, pretty good. It's Monday. <laughs> pretty good. Tired. Everybody's oh. on and around. You know, it's contagious, didn't you? Yeah, I know. No, I've got to get rolling. You know, we'd be remiss. This is already, uh, we're almost on the first week in May already, yeah. and I'm amazed we haven't brought this up. It happens to be Military Appreciation Month. Oh. But see, to us here at Sunny, it's yeah, Military Appreciation Day every like month. every day year round. But we this was this was actually. The designated month. Uh, signed in as the designated month by Congress back in 1999. So it's a thing. Oh, That's cool. Okay. It's, a, it's a thing. So, yeah, kind of a big deal. And, and Lou, I uh, would like to welcome on, on board as one of our uh, brand new partners to ABN Army Surplus and yes. Tactical Gear. Big big deal there as well. Yeah. Thank you guys awesome. for doing all that you guys awesome do. Awesome place. Vinny and Tony and Roxy and the crew over there have uh, been around for 25, 26 years. That's I've awesome. been a fan of theirs for a long time. Well, that is very, very so, yeah, cool. Military appreciation. If you've got somebody in your family or you know somebody, you see a vet on the streets. and You know, it's a pretty do. big military town. I, it is. I, yep. You know, when I go grocery shopping, I will almost always see somebody in uniform. Me too. And I will always say... Thank you. Thank you for your yeah. service. And thank you. I get mixed rea- reactions. I do that all the time as well. I get mixed reactions. There's some that say, "Oh, thank you very much," and then I have others that look at me like I'm a I'm a very weird person. Like, I almost always again. get a smile. Mm-hmm. This was about a month or so ago, and there were uh, three of them, uh, National Guard reservists. And I <laughs> walking by, and I said, "Hey, guys, man, seriously, thank." Thank you so much. And as I'm sitting away, one of them goes, yeah, you're worth it, man. <laughs> and I stopped Aww. and I looked at him and said, no, no, not really. <laughs> you don't know me said, very well. Did we just have a moment? <laughs> that was re- Do we need to hug? <laughs> it was really funny. Though. <laughs> that was awesome. Yeah. You're worth it. I, what? Really? Okay. <laughs> that's, a, that's a great response. You don't cool. know me. Well, coming up here in a bit, we've got uh, Manly Men doing manly things. We've got some water cooler talk. We've got all kinds of silliness that will happen in the next Half hour, 45 minutes. It's the John and Heidi Show bonus hour with Mr. Dan Ferris on Sunny 93.3. Do you have a credit card? Is it the very best credit card? Many people get their credit card as a response to an offer that was mailed to you. These are typically not the best cards. Check the fine print for the fees and interest. We have a website that compares many different cards being offered so you can find the one that's the best fit for you. If you'd like to find a better credit card, we'd love to help at bettercreditcards.net. There's no obligation. Just click and compare to see if we can get you a better credit card at bettercreditcards.net. Sunny 93.3, time now for Manly Men doing manly things in a... Manly Men are we... Manly Manly fashion. fashion. This is perfect for a Monday morning. Monday morning, just dragging a little bit. You know what? Again, guys, you need to know how to brew the perfect cup of coffee. Mm. You just do. Oh, yeah. And I'm not talking about grabbing the bucket of discount stuff and throwing it into a Mr. Coffee. Not talking about Keurig? Talking about grinding some beans, baby. Getting oh, yeah. a nice machine going, maybe a cold press, Ooh, whatever. It, better, yeah. it can it can take a little bit. And also, real men drink coffee black. <laughs> I used to for a long, long time. <laughs> that is That is what I do. Somebody got me started on cream. Now I'm kind of a pansy man. Yeah, see, that's the gateway to a... Uh, Rolling up to a Starbucks going, give me a mocha frappy, jacky, <laughs> skimmy, <laughs> foamy, wacka wacka. What is the thing you ordered from Scoop Scooters? Scoopers? Scooters. Scooters. What is Scooters. the thing you ordered from them the other day? Raspberry white mocha. I, I just said, yeah, I'll just have what she had because I thought it was coffee, but apparently it was not. I'm like, what is this? Yeah, they're basically just throwing a piece of cheesecake in a blender and adding <laughs> some, it's some soda. It's, yeah, that's it's not good. coffee. It's not coffee. At home. I do drink my coffee black. Yeah, I was. Uh, it was good. I drove away and and I took two sips of it and instantly had diabetes. So it was, uh, it was interesting stuff. There's some great tactics, great ways to make great coffee. In fact, you might want to punch up the Black Rifle Coffee Company. Oh, yeah. mm-hmm. You drink out of their mug. There is that. I do. Stuff? This is a Black Rifle uh, Coffee Company coffee or dye. Coffee mug, yeah. Compliments of uh, my daughter. A little gift from her. That's awesome. Yeah, it's a coffee company that is veteran-owned, veteran-run, and it's fantastic, fantastic. stuff. Fantastic. Thanks for listening to our manly men doing manly things in a manly fashion. I don't know what I was just thinking there. We've got uh, some water cooler talk to get to. It's on the way. Do you need a gift for a silly friend? Weirdgiftoftheday.com has many ideas. Each day, we share a different weird gift idea. There's no fee to sign up. You don't even need to buy anything. 
Just follow our page on Facebook to get a laugh every morning. WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com If you do like an item, you can easily buy it right from the Facebook page. We have a link going right to that page at WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com That's WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com Sunny 93.3, time now for Water Cooler Talk, brought to you by Aqua One. We've got Mr. Dan Ferris in the studio, oh. once again with his stolen Argus newspaper from up the hall. <laughs> what dark days are these in which we live and breathe? Should we get a subscription for you there, Dan? On the prairie. <laughs> no, again, torn from the page of the Argus Leader. From the page of the Argus League. Uh, maybe they've, uh, maybe <laughs> they've, pretty thin, maybe they've caught up with this scoundrel because this happened about a week back, and as of uh, when this paper was printed, it already been a week since this ordeal took place. Sioux Falls man wanted for his alleged role in hit and run last Friday, suspected of being involved in several crashes on the same day. Police spokesman Aww. Sam Clemens, Aww. who I work very closely with, you wearing a wire, Ferris? Yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> Say the 27-year-old man, they know who he is, but they haven't managed to scrounge him up yet. Described as a Native American. I'm going to go with dark hair and dark eyes. Probably. Uh-huh. Uh, six foot one, 250 pounds. Last Friday, 7.30 in the morning. This is 7 a.m. Person driving north on Western Avenue was about to turn onto 28th when his car was sideswiped by a black Chevy Avalanche truck. Driven by... The perp in question. Hmm. Okay. Shortly after, that same truck hit a parked car, then sideswiped another car near 28th and West Avenue. Then at 840, the same truck collided with the Dodge Ram pickup on 26th Street in West, disabling piling up both vehicles. The man driving the black truck, Vamoost, got out of the truck and ran. He left his vehicle? He skedaddled. Oh. He most certainly did. Witnesses say they smelled alcohol on the man, leading police to believe he may have been drunk. <laughs> That's some kidding? darn fine police That's work there, boys. What, what made them think that? Oh, mm-hmm. the 17 crashes and yeah. the smell of alcohol. And he smelled like hooch. <laughs> and he abandoned his truck <laughs> Too bad. and ran away. That's not good at all. Um, nobody with any life-threatening injuries, just Thank a bunch goodness. of piled-up cars. And hey, by the way, if you were involved in that, Anderson's Collision Center. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just visit andersonscc.com. Get a hold of Jeremy and Amy. Tell them I sent you. You! We'll get a receipt for the work done. Yes, and when it's done, it'll be like it never even happened. Perfection. You guys have yeah. seen the job they did yeah, on my Mustang, right? Fantastic. Beautiful. Looks like showroom stuff. It's yeah. fabulous. They do really, really good work. Uh, again, coming up here in a moment, we've got uh, a thing we started, I don't know, a month ago maybe? Uh, Maverick Recruiting. Yes, Top Gun did. of the Week. That's on the way on Sunny 93.3. Do you have experience working in the field? A real field? Maverick Recruiting has an amazing opportunity for the right person. You'll be running a late model 4940 John Deere sprayer this spring and summer. You'll have the chance to drive a truck in the off season. Earn between sixty to seventy thousand dollars a year. Receive a sign-on bonus and get paid to relocate to this growing community just outside the Sioux Empire. This exciting opportunity comes with a large benefit package with great insurance, IRA with a great company match, paid holidays, and more. Connect with Maverick Recruiting today for this great opportunity at MaverickRecruiting.com. That's MaverickRecruiting.com. Sunny ninety-three point three. Time now for the Sunny Radio Maverick Recruiting. Top Gun of the Week, and uh, this is the time of the show we hand the microphone over to Heidi. Dan, are you as nervous as me? I'm not. I think Heidi's been handling this beautifully. Yes. Well, thank you. Heidi She's just, done really well. She does. She just... Giving credit where yeah. credit is due. Yeah, you do a good job. She, About she gallivants time. around town doing <laughs> business deals, producing <laughs> revenue, tax base for the entire city. It's crazy. She's keeping Sioux Falls moving forward. Yes, I am. So uh, who is in the spotlight for the uh, Sunny Radio Maverick this Recruiting Top week, Gun of the Week? I had some absolutely exceptional service at Craven oh, nice. from a young lady named Maria. So... And you were actually with me for this one. Wasn't she just fantastic? In fact, I think it was you who, while I was paying, said she should be our next. I didn't think that you'd take my advice on that. Well, I did. I'm glad you did. That's cool. Uh, By the way, I was just trying to help those, uh, all the people who were betting on the over under on how soon it would be a bartender that got this award. (laughs) (laughs) 
<laughs> Somebody bringing Heidi booze one? She You're was not a bartender. Yeah. She was she delivering was your drinks. <laughs> she was doing a phenomenal job. And she was she funny and, and talkative and engaging. And she just – she deserves a little bit of a spotlight, I think. Absolutely. So, so uh, if, you, if you happen to know this young lady, what's her name once again? Maria. Maria. And she works at Craven in Sioux Falls. And if you're her, empl- her employer's at Craven, you know, like Dan said – Give her a half a day off, full day off. Give her a little extra on the paycheck. Toss her a little something out of petty right. cash. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's how it works. But. Yeah, and she'll get a beautiful framed certificate. Yes, yeah, and, and a sunny radio A t-shirt. sunny 93.3. We'll have t-shirt. to line up a time to deliver that. We've uh, been taking photos with those and then uh, posting them online as well. Uh, a huge thank you to our friends at Maverick Recruiting. This is the Sunny Radio Maverick Recruiting Top Gun of the Week. And if you are looking for exceptional employees for your company, reach out to John. He he does that. And if you are an exceptional employee and maybe you're looking for a, a cool new job, he's got some hot jobs on his website right now. You can hop on there and find them at maverickrecruiting.com. As we get to wedding season, many events will involve alcohol. If you find that drug or alcohol problems are hitting you too close to home, you can get help. Maybe Maybe it's time for rehab. Your insurance may even cover everything. Learn more at timeforrehab.com. Get help for a drug or alcohol problem within 24 hours. Call now to learn more at 1-800-290-0759. Or get more information at timeforrehab.com. That's timeforrehab.com. Sunny 93.3, thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show Bonus Hour with Mr. Dan Ferris. It's time now for Entertainment News of the Day. <laughs> Celebrity fan. The story that will never die. Never, ever, 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 ever. The, the varsity. Varsity. Thank you very much. Uh, Lori Laughlin and her husband, Mamisa Mosby, Giuliani, <laughs> have uh, pleaded not guilty. Are you kidding me? No, well, here's the thing. <laughs> How do you plead not guilty? Not only do they plead not guilty, but Lori and her husband, Mamisa Mosby, yeah, he's Irish. I don't think he's Irish. <laughs> literally, she said, literally, we had no idea what we did was illegal. I didn't know what they when were they doing. were doing it. They had no idea it was illegal. I didn't know that it was Come illegal. On. Seriously, is not illegal. To, to give to give money to somebody that's not illegal, is it? It is illegal if you're trying to do it in exchange for. <laughs> okay, and the money was being laundered to get there. <laughs> right. <laughs> so clean money is not illegal, is it? It's a little bit of starch. According I'm to uh, according to one illegal. of my sources in People Magazine, and I have many, <laughs> quote: Lori feels like so much damage has been done publicly that the only way for her to counter the damage is to fight this case in court, and that's exactly what they're going to do. I am going to go out on a limb here and say Lori somehow is going to throw her husband under the bus hard on this thing. He's really? Gonna, he's going to take the fall. I think they're going to get divorced. And I'm serious. I am not just playing here. Wow. I think this is where this is going. Huh. I really. She is going to save herself, save her kids, maybe walk away kind of, sort of, scot free, and. Uh, that she'll come out scot free on this one. I I just I have a heart. I don't know how you can repair. Her. Not scot free, but I think I just think Masisa Misimo Chitrini, her husband. <laughs> he doesn't even see it coming. I think he's going down <laughs> hard on this deal. Guess we'll find out. <laughs> and and if anyone knows Heidi, it is Dan. He has his finger on I, the truth. I know we need he does. Lori back on the Hallmark Channel while I'm watching the game. <laughs> There, there are already people picketing free Aunt Becky. I'm like, free well, Aunt Becky. You, you at least put her name on the dang sign. Wow. You look crazy, but with that, you look out of touch crazy. I'm just saying. So we'll keep you posted. Thanks for listening to some entertainment news of the day with Mr. Dan Ferris on Sunny 93.3. Hey, it's T-Shirt Weather. Be sure to show your fun side with a funny T-Shirt from FunkyMonkeyShirts.com. We have several funny shirt designs that will make you look cool while you stay cool. Do you have an idea for your own shirt designs? We can help you make it a reality at FunkyMonkeyShirts.com. Find thousands of T-Shirt designs from people just like you and add your own designs, too, at FunkyMonkeyShirts.com. That's FunkyMonkeyShirts.com.